Welcome to the Warlords of Draenor basic raid prep series by LOS Gaming. Today in our line of sight are the Iron Maidens. Admiral Garan and her two lieutenants, Sorka and Marak, are standing between you and sinking the Iron Horde's naval fleet. Have your raids spread out on the dock. Tank Marak and Sorka near Admiral Garan as she does not need to be tanked. Garan will target a player with rapid fire. Quickly get to the edge of the platform and kite the trailing explosions around the edge. At 30 energy, she will begin targeting a player with penetrating shot. Collapse onto the straight red line to share the damage. Enforcer Sorka will randomly charge raid members, which will chain to anyone within 5 yards, so stay spread out. Do not dispel the dot she starts to place on players when she reaches 30 energy. Marak the Blooded will target a player with a squiggly line. The player targeted should move to the side to ensure nobody else is hit with a conal attack. The tank should step into the squiggly as well to intercept the burst from Crystalline Blood. She will mark three players with her boomerang axe, spread out from each other to minimize the damage. Every couple minutes the Maiden with the lowest health will board the Harbor Dreadnought. Assign a tank, a mobile healer, and four DPS to follow Marak and Sorka over. An additional DPS can take the tank spot in the group when Goran hops over. Click a hook to transfer over to the boat. Gorok is Sorka's deckhand. Group up right behind the tank, making it easy to intercept all the deadly throws. Cleave through the fixating eviscerators as soon as they show up. Ukdar is Goran's deckhand. Focus him down while interrupting his medic's earthen barrier and protective earth spells. Ukarag is Marak's deckhand. Pools of blood will spawn beneath each player. Move one spot at a time towards the back of the ship as they spawn. When each deckhand dies, interrupt the main cannon by clicking on a bomb in the loading bay at the back. This will return the boat group to the platform along with the Maiden. When a Maiden is on the ship, the raid will be bombarded. Start the bombardment dance by finding an area that's not targeted, then stepping onto the bomb after it lands. Step back once your bomb turns red. After the explosion, move back into the open area. The bosses on the platform will still be doing their abilities, so remember to handle them properly. The first Maiden to hit 20% health starts Phase 2. Every 10 seconds after that, the Maidens gain a 5% damage buff. You will want to save Bloodlust and make sure all of them are as close to 20% as possible to reduce the time in this phase. Garan will now deploy a turret which will spray dodgeable orbs in all directions. Kill each quickly. Sorka will target a player and after 8 seconds do a large amount of damage to them. Be sure the player is topped off beforehand. A portion of each of Marok's auto attacks become raid-wide damage. Using cooldowns to mitigate the damage on the Marok tank will help reduce the overall raid damage. Focus the Maiden that poses the most deadly threat to your raid comp while continuing to cleave into the other two. We suggest Garan first to stop her from deploying her turrets, then Marok to lighten the overall raid damage, and finally Sorka. Avoid squiggly lines but stand in straight ones, have efficient bow groups, when the Maidens get to 20% hit the gas pedal and you will sink Blackhand's battleship. This has been Tatva and Tovo with two, uh, three minute tips by Line of Sight Gaming. Please like and subscribe and check out our other videos by clicking on any of these links.